Okay, so quick update on dismantling the turret assembly. Obviously I've decided to pull the whole thing to bits and see what it's like and get all the muck out of it. I've given these a quick rinse in heating oil. They come up pretty good. This one here has had a blocked oil passage for God knows how long and it's just worn way oversized. I might remake that shaft. There's a step on the top there where it's worn in. I might make a new one of them. Not too hard to do on a lathe and milling machine at work. Gear itself seems to be pretty good. It's got a hardened boss in the center. Part numbers on it. Still haven't worked out what this lathe is though. A lot of these parts have a T inside a shield. Sort of like that. With a T. Could be tar now. Could be something else. Don't know. That's the power feed mechanism. All full of bits of brass and crap. That's the main spindle shaft. There's a bit of a pry from a tire lever behind it. She came straight out. It's just vacuum in there holding it in. I'll set that up on some V-blocks at work and mic it up, see, if, see how badly bent it is. But again, it got, doesn't have splines on it, just a parallel key. So I'll be able to make that one up easy enough. Make a replacement for it. Make the key for it's floating in there now. <laughs> this is about ready to come off the bed. I'm going to take this part of the housing off first, and then take this off. It's too heavy as one piece. It's just hanging on by a T-nut. I had to get the file out and file the inside edges of the bed back there because more than one idiot has used it as an anvil and they've peened and banged the edges of the bed up. Very unfortunate. But, she'll clean up. I'll get a machine of stone and or tool make of stone and stone these surfaces. Level them out, get rid of any rust and dings. It's almost time for a repaint on this I think. It's been painted once before. Now everything's going to get a good clean up. Especially the turret. It's a mess. Okay, well that's the turret assembly apart. Got the bed piece. The uh gearbox saddle type arrangement top slide turret locking mechanism turret bearing power feed gears main drive gear for that or pinion gear to drive that that's the main drive shaft which is connected to the handles and up in here. Front cover. That's the turret slide lock which locks this in place. Power feed engagement knob. That fits in the back there. So when you pull up on that, it locks that mechanism in place top cover for the turret, the turret itself, turret slide pieces and gib, and top cover and handle. Pretty straightforward. Lots of bits to clean tomorrow. That's tomorrow's job is to disengage the power feed. Okay, well I've just been given the tower to be over once over, cleaning everything up. It's going to take a bit of work. Uh, these are little clamps that hold the tool holders in place inside the sockets. You can also get bosses which bolt onto here, but none of them, none of them came with the lathe. A slightly smaller one. That one there looks like it's homemade. It's just been ground out. I've only got four out of six. So, probably have to get bosses for the other two or three. 
sometimes you have short tools and you'll need an extension sometimes you have long tools and you can fit them inside in the mortars uh, I'll work that one out when I get to it I'm just going to clean this up as a nice clean matte finish I'm not going to go flat out and make the lathe look like new it's going to have that old look to it I don't think I'll repaint it yet but for now I'll just give it a good clean up and make sure that everything works thanks for watching